Now, this is how the clutch fork boot is oriented on the clutch fork for a 66 F250. This is part of the fork is inside the bell housing, of course. And you see this little, there's the groove here. And this little tab, that is oriented towards the groove. So it fits right down in there. That's what it looks like. That's the clutch fork boot. There's the uh, clutch fork for the 66 F250. Uh, got some rust on there just a little bit. So I'm going to scrape that off, get the grease off inside here. This is where it's inside the bell housing here. And yeah, it's starting to scrape it. You can see the residue down there. So then after that, I'll put it in my famous vinegar and water. Let that clean it all up and uh, paint it up. So here I am, got some mineral spirits, paint thinner, cleaning off the grease. And then I'll uh, I think I just got some rust in here. Can't really see it. It's eh, not too bad. We'll still stick it in the vinegar and water, clean that off, and it'll be nice and sparkly. Let's dry that off and so you can see what we've got there. Eh, it's actually not too bad. Not too bad, really. I think I might just scuff that up. I'll go inside there. Yeah, I'll check it out. You can see it turned out pretty well. Right in there, you see the, it's nice and clean. In the channel here, you see some rust. And a little bit more there, not too bad. So what I'm going to do, stick this over in my, my vinegar water here, just this portion here, submerge that, and it looks like I need to add a little bit more, but uh, that'll soak it right off. There's the clutch fork I've been soaking overnight. You can see a little bit of rust form there where some uh, vinegar had splashed on it. Normally I'd be wearing my gloves to clean this, but since I'm just going to do a little bit, um, no big deal. This is an acid, so you see that before I start to scrub a little bit there. But um, I'll just take this wire brush to it and take that right off. And I had it soaking overnight. But you can see, even just that little bit of scrubbing right there, that uh, it comes off pretty quickly. And I went to my other bucket and got the uh, Scotch-Brite pad. I forgot to use that instead of the wire brush. So I'll just come back in there. Actually, you can see right there, a good example. This was submersed in the vinegar and this was above so see it oxidized a little bit and uh, that just took the rust right off just scrubbing with my little scotch bright. You can see I'll take this off right now right in here See, look at that. It just takes it right off. Get a nice angle so you can see it. Um, takes it right off and see right in here, that was above the water and that was deemed suitable by me. And you can see the line right there where it was in the vinegar water and is above and a little bit of rust from where some splashed right there. But it, it works great and uh, dry it out. And if you wear gloves, then your hands won't smell like pickles.
and the vinegar. Don't dry your hands out. There it is, all dried off, and uh, looks pretty good. And that's where the clip goes, right there, the clutch fork clip, and that's where it goes. <laughs> that is the clutch fork for a 1966 F-250 pickup. And this is the rattle clip there. You can see how it's supposed to hook in. I got this one right there. You see the, the shape of it there. Um, this is the one we pulled out. We're just sitting down by the starter hole by the motor plate, sep motor separation plate just sitting in that hole there. So it wasn't holding anything into place. And also, I, I don't know if as a result of that, we have an earlier photo where this is all worn flat. And a friend of mine uh, put some weld on there, and now it's nice and rounded again. So I'll repaint that. It had flattened these areas here. It had become flattened, and so he dropped a bead on there, and it had a soft grinder, and took it down. It looks beautiful. It fits on the bearing perfectly. So where that, you have that ridge right there. It had been flattened. Alrighty, get my foot out of there, and that's the clutch fork, clutch release fork.